Hi, uh, in this video, I will show you how to manage deployments on Umbraco Cloud. Knowing how to manage deployments on Umbraco Cloud allows you to quickly move your changes from one environment to another one. My name is Gabriel and I will be your Umbraco Unicorn guy today. This is how the agenda looks like. First of all, we'll start with deploying metadata and once we are ready, we'll transfer content and media. On Umbraco Cloud, there are two part deployment approaches. We keep metadata, for example, document types or templates and content, for example, the content nodes and media as separate parts of a deployment. Why we have this workflow? Well, first of all, it is because it allows developers to focus on deploying metadata, which is stored in the site's Git repository. Secondly, it allows content editors to focus on transferring content, which is stored as Umbraco data. Furthermore, in order to be able to transfer content and media, the source and the target environment needs to be in sync and have the same file structure. So the first step is to deploy the metadata and then transfer the content and media files. Now it's actually time to get our hands dirty. Perfect, I'm on my project overview on Umbraco Cloud called Next. The project has two environments, the development and the live environment. The only difference between these two environments is that the development environment has a starter kit applied. On the other hand, the live environment is empty without any content or metadata. Let me show you. I'll just go to the development back office. And uh, in the content section, we have some uh, content nodes in here. Uh, if I go to the media section, we have some media files. And on the, on the settings section, we have a bunch of document types or, or templates. All of these files have been added by the starter kit. On the other hand, if I go to the live um, environment back office, go to the back office, we don't have any content, uh, media files, or documents or templates. So it is basically empty. The goal is to move the, the metadata from the development to the live environment. As you can see on the development environment level, there are 18 changes ready for, uh, for deployment. When you work directly on the development or staging environment, any changes that you make in the back office will automatically be identified and committed to the environment Git repository. All of these changes, if we click view change details, we get all of these changes that have been added to the development environment. So all of this have been added by the starter kit. In order to deploy the changes, we simply click the deploy changes to, to live. To click on this one, we give it a short message, uh, deploy the starter kit. And then uh, we can also give it an extended description. And once we are ready with this two, we can um, uh, deploy uh, deploy to live. We click deploy to live button and then the um, um, deployment kicks in. And if you want to know what happens behind the scenes, we can click on the activity uh, view, view details. And then in the activity log, we can see exactly what happens behind, uh, behind the scenes. It might take a while to complete the deployment. It highly depends on how many changes you are pushing from one environment to another. Also, uh, Umbraco Cloud um, uses uh, a left to right deployment model, which means that changes are first made um, in the development or local environment and then deployed to the live one. If the project has um, an env a staging environment as well, then the deployment will be made from uh, uh, development, staging and live. What is also worth to know is that some deployments can cause an Umbraco Cloud environment to restart. It happens at the moment when there are some config file changes. The environment uh, won't restart if you deploy metadata or have any file changes, for, e for example, uh, CSS file changes or script files changes. I will fast forward now until the deployment has been completed. Fantastic, so the deployment has been completed. We'll just uh, hide the details or close. We just refresh um, refresh the page. And as you can see here, we have 18 changes roll out. So all of the changes have been moved from the development to the live environment. Let's just go uh, uh, to the um, back office of the live environment and jump um, over to the settings. So we have the document types, the templates, everything, all the metadata is in place. Uh, on the other hand, we don't have the, the content and the media yet. This is the next step. We'll transfer content and media from the development environment to the live one. 
Great, so we have deployed the metadata from the development to the live environment. In order to transfer the content and media, this is done from the Umbraco back office of the environment from where we want to transfer. In this case, it's the development environment. So let's go in the back office. And to transfer the content, we just go in the content section, right click on the content, and then we have the, the option Q for transfer. You can achieve the same option if you click on the three dots and do something else. What is super nice is that the content and media transfers are extremely flexible. You can decide if you want to move all the content items, uh, media items in one go or just a single node file. In this example with the content and Q for transfer, we'll move all of them. And this is actually what we want to do. But let's imagine that in the future you only want to move, uh, for instance, the people um, node. What you can do is just right click on this one queue for transfer and then you will move only that um, uh, that node with uh, the images that are referenced in that specific um, uh, specific content node. Now let's move all the content from the development to the live environment. Right click on this one, queue for transfer, click on queue, okay, and then we get one content chase ready to send to the live workspace. Once we know that this is what we want to, uh, to do, we click send changes to the live workspace and then the transfer has just uh, started. Transferring content will override any existing nodes on the target environment. What does this mean is that if you have some, some nodes on the target environment already, this will be replaced by the new content that comes from the source environment. So it will override everything that comes from the development to the um, live environment. It will take a couple of, uh, of seconds. Great, so the transfer has been uh, completed. Click OK. And now if you jump uh, to the um, live environment, we have uh, the content nodes and the media files in, in place. These are the steps in order to manage your deployments on, uh, on Umbraco Cloud. This is the way how you deploy the metadata and how to queue for transfer from one environment to another. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, high five you rock.